plugging in their videos on a regular basis. I just don't really talk about it. Just like I've looked at, you know, your boy Jahan's videos. Uh, just like I look at k -more. Just like I look at um, the craziness that's going on with Tweezy and, and Chart. Um, <laughs> and Ty. <laughs> and that whole situation. This, my small comment on that. I don't know if I'm posting this again. Is that initially I was kind of like that whole Q and A whatever with Tweezy or whatever. I feel like both men kind of handled it really emotionally. I think that Tweezy handled it the wrong way. When it's like ultimately, I, I mean, it's, if Joe came up and was like, "Yo, bro, like you different, bro. Like you just not the same. We don't hang out anymore. It's this is different." And he said that a certain kind of way, like. I can choose to be like really defensive about it, but ultimately I am like it's it's not even a game. Like I mean, we're not the same. Like I'm not the same. Like I might have the same heart, but I'm not the same. And then on Chark's side, like he just don't know how to talk. Like his communication levels is just off because even when he goes and like has conversation with other people, like he comes off really brash, really rude, and like he just didn't take it the right way. And then the way that he's kind of handled it now, just up and leaving. Initially, I was kind of like, all right, I'm going to look at Chart's video, see what happened. And it kind of paints Chart like, oh, dang, Tweezy was wilding out, like, it's whatever. But then when I looked at Tweezy's video, for real, for real, like, when he called Chart, he's been sitting there trying to call Chart. We were literally watching on camera. And Chart was like, yo, what's up? And, like, he didn't, he didn't say, yo, Ty's coming to pick up my dog. He didn't say, oh, well, I'm sorry, like, I just really needed to go, like, I apologize. Sorry I left it like I did. Like he didn't say nothing like that. Like, he just came out really rude and brash. And that didn't help. Like that that I mean that's an unfiltered conversation that it can be taken in two different ways. But like if you look at Tweet's video, like, I understand why he sold the dog. Like, I mean I get where Ty's coming from because I didn't look at that. You know what I'm saying? It was just, either way, it's very entertaining. Really interesting triangle was going all over the place. And then some kind of way K Moore got involved. Um and K Moore is hilarious. But either way, I do watch a lot of interesting comedic um, and interesting entertainers on YouTube and content creators. But anyway, let's go ahead and start. Why are you like just saying like I don't know, I feel like this is from you showing up without saying anything and then you just seem uh, nervous and you're just like extra mellow and you're never mellow, but You got the <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, I definitely wouldn't be around you with the, the virus, you know. But you know, I haven't been really. Bro, I'm actually low key nervous with this girl. Okay. You're really safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> so yeah, you didn't tell me what you were doing. Like literally, you just nothing. I wasn't doing anything. I'm telling you, I, I told you back when I did nothing. I did a little laundry. I was actually about to get my laundry See, out. This is staged. This, this is a real. They um, are great actors. Watch Netflix. This has been feeling good. Bro, I'm gonna bro. Just, like, well, in a row. Jahan needs to world. get both of them on board with his future projects. Musical. Like for real. Like no, no cap. If there's a season three of uh, you hitting that, they both need to be added to the cast. Cause be I mean, they work on me in the car, right? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Nah, there's too many cars coming. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you guys? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm You're good. All over the place. Right I now. am, bro. I want to park somewhere in, like to where it's just like where it's safe and like you know I can just just fully give you my undivided attention. You know what I'm saying? Really? Hungry? See, I don't know. Yeah, they weird, bro. They weird, weird, bro. Like, for real, for real, this is mixed signals going on all over the place. Like, I don't know, bro. What's up? What's up? You, you what's up? You got your real one and stuff like that. Who was in the house with you? Got this silk on. This silk! I what? Will you got anything on over there? Yeah, I got something on under here. Making sure, you know. Ah, you got a book sale. sale. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, yo. That's lit. Um, but nah, I had to. 
I honestly had to drive over here because I think they had to prep this conversation. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. I wanted to just. I feel like they had this whole uh, thing. Uh, how was you doing? Now. Mm -hmm. Did I say that already? Maybe their yeah, reactions are going to be... My day, what have I been doing? Uh, I ain't going to say anything. Um, how was your day? I you seem stressed. You seem like your day was stressful. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. What you stressing about? My day was real stressful. Okay, what happened? Well, start the day off. I woke up and it was just like... I was nervous. I was like... I felt like I was having anxiety. You know what I'm saying? And like... I don't know. I just something told me that I needed to drive to you immediately and just tell you the truth about how I really feel. Oh, snap. Dang, yo. About what? Whoa, whoa. How I feel whoa. about everything. How I feel my emotions towards like everything. You know, I feel like I've been holding back on a lot of things and not being truthful. And, oh you know, I feel like some things you kind of feel, you know, that's in my hair. Yeah, I'm sticking up. Oh. <laughs> what is he doing? What is she doing? You bored? What you, why, you, why you just wild? She me. No, I'm not bored. I'm obviously in tune. I'm like, okay. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. What you mean, though? I don't know. That's the vibe I can get it. Oh my god. Uh, that's the vibe I can get it. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I've been honest. Like, I haven't been honest with you, and I feel like you kind of haven't been honest with me. And we're just like holding back, like honesty and how we really feel, you know. What? About what? Well, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you, and I just want you to listen. You know, I don't want you to say anything, and just hear me out, and then you can talk and say your piece and tell me if I'm wrong or whatever, you know. Ugh. You don't want me to say anything the whole time. I just want you to listen, you know, and, and that's, I mean, that's I the thing. I think I would have approached it differently. I should have paused and, and hearing the message and not. I would have said, just look, I just need to get really this out so you know, we can progress you know, forward. Because it looks like she's trying to gain some conversation to have <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, what is <laughs> What you looking at me like that for? Oh, Why are you looking at my silk? That silk look good on me. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so I was going to say from for a while now that you know everything we've been through, you know, Easy X Natalie to the birthday surprises to literally the trips, the surprise trips out of the country, how we you know treat each other like really good friends, and you know the love is there, and I just feel like you know at this point you know it's obvious that it's more than just friends you know for me and, uh, see, you know, I feel you, like you know I feel like what do you mean by hold that? on just let me talk I'm gonna, like I said just listen to me just listen don't say anything okay yeah all right okay all right um like I'm saying, like everything we've been through, through the ups, the downs, I feel like you have been the person that has, you know, that's just literally like, I don't want to get emotional, but um, because I'm a thug in the streets. But uh, <laughs> nah, like honestly, Natalie, like you were so perfect. You're beyond perfect. You're a queen. You're a goddess. You're everything. You're perfect. Like, Natalie, like I love you. And Dang. I feel like I can't hold back the emotions that I feel. Oh! And I know you love me too. And I'm not just saying that you love me as a best friend. Oh. All the all the stuff that, you know, people have said about us. Of course that's true when it came to the love that you have for me. But it's also true, like, the same way I feel. I know you're feeling the same way. I know you're feeling me. And that's I can't that. hold back that's the that. love that I have for you. Like, I'm in love with you. There's no sugar coat, nothing. Like, Wait. No, no, Natalie. <laughs> Come on, just hear me, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Just listen. I just want you to hear my message, and I'm not saying. Oh, oh Lord, this is a lot. No joke. Like I'm in love with you. There's no playing around. Like I'm not pranking you. This isn't no 
all right like let's see just one question i just just one question i'm sorry please all right, if ahead. you're not pranking me why are you recording this i just i want you to be honest I want you to be honest with yourself. I want you to be honest with everybody. Right. I, I don't like think this is okay. Now you're so, I think that was a good you're idea. On to what that you would have been a conversation that you, you know should have off camera. You used to be in your story. I think so that's terrible. So you're thinking subconsciously, I know that you love that me. Question but right I feel like since you're so used to being with me, I it you know, that's dead. You, this is what you kind of grew dead. up knowing. Like, maybe, right, boy and girl, this is something maybe, that you're kind of like. Maybe you know, he kind of like. I didn't. Yeah, she, 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 she went the wrong way with that. I see it. You know, the easy game. I bring my it. conversation. They up all in a see second. it. The feelings is there. The chemistry is there. Like you're in love with me, and like I don't want you to hide it anymore. I don't. Yeah, nah, yeah, that's dead, bro. And I she, know she going at this and it's wrong okay. way. And, you know, we could get through this together if you feel she like getting, you're gonna be judged. Or, you know, you're worried about your career. You're worried about anything. Like I will be here. Whether, even if you, you know, you just tell me the truth. Like, just being 100 and you just don't even want to pursue this. But as long as you're honest with yourself, that's all that matters. That's what you need to do. Be honest and stop, like, I now feel like you're lying to yourself. Like, nah. Because that's dead. Because I wish I could. Is, is, uh, is fucking unique. It's unbreakable. Like, I'm serious, Natalie. I'm serious. You know I'm serious. The way you look at me, I know you love me. And I'm not talking about, oh, it's my best friend. You so cute, bitch. Like, no, like, you love me. Like, this is a lie. I think she's she, she going for the throat. And it's not a good idea. Why do you look like you're about to cry? I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> you look like you are. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I need you to be honest with me. I don't want, I don't want it. I just. Bro, just let it dead. Let it go. Let it go. I, I have my comments after this. You know? Stop. You look so cute. Nah, I ain't trying to be cute. Nah, I'm trying to be daddy. I'm trying to be these emotions for you. This is me showing you signs of relief. Getting this off my chest. There ain't no, oh, that's cute. None of that. I know you're making me more than y'all. That, oh, that's cute. I'm just saying. Uh, I hope I got everything off my chest. Um, I feel relieved. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. And, you know, me expressing how I feel towards you is just like, you need everything to me. Dang! Bruh, like, just, 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 just leave the conversation. I'm so in love with you. Y'all gonna have to let this go. <laughs> then this conversation, this don't need to be recorded right now. Love you. Bruh, for real, if this oh is like... God. Stop, you're gonna make me cry. Stop, you're gonna make me cry. Cuz, bruh, like... Dang, easy look! Like, so like, I have never met... Somebody like you. Like on some real shit. Dang! You be treated by somebody. Bruh. It's okay, like, easy. It's gonna love you, you know, my mom. It's okay, just let it go, you know, bro. See, I'm gonna love you so good. Dang, dang. Because we already there. We're already there. I wonder when they recorded this, to be quite honest with you. Okay. I need you to understand how I feel and I need you to just really think about what I'm saying. And I promise you I'm gonna be here every step of the way. You can be honest with me. See she's projecting too much. You can be honest the world, be honest with yourself. Red, she's projecting too much. All you have to do is just say, look, this is how I feel. You know it. Stop fighting it. Yeah, let, let it go, bro. I got a, I got a whole lot of conversations about that. Cause if I was a guy and I did that same exact thing to a girl, that would not be good, bro. That would not be good because 
then it's kind of like, what if the girl don't feel that way? And I'm projecting all this. I mean, I guess, wait this way before you say anything. Like I said, listen to me. Let's take it all in. Really think about what I'm saying. It's this thing. I said a lot. And it came from a place that I really didn't know where it was going to go. Dang. Really think about what I said. Everything. Take it all in, please. When you want me to say something. You really know this is time. Bro, that's some craziness. That's some drums going on. That's a good actor, bro. Just really think about it. That's some really good actor. Just this whole I tell you what, this is the first time that I seen Natalie kind of just like legit listen though. Dang, yeah, this is a what's one of the stories, bro? Oh, have mercy. Okay, so these are okay. This is where I'm coming from with this. Now, I think that Easy's intention is understandable. She needed to let out everything that she's feeling. In Easy's mind, she feels as though Natalie is suppressing the way she feels about her. That it's obvious that Natalie has feelings back for her, that they are reciprocating it back. Now, being in a situation like this, well, not exactly like this, but before my wife and stuff like that there were definitely times where i was like man i really feel for this person like really deeply and i feel like we got this connection we got this vibe this person's giving me all this and that and like the worst thing you can really do is to kind of like do all of that but then say i know you are feeling this way i know you're doing this now i'm not knocking what easy did because in her head in her heart that's the way she feels but the way that I would have really approached it if I was her, I would have said, look, look, this is how I feel. Like, I can't maintain myself anymore. I feel that we have a connection. I feel that this is not just a one-sided track situation. Not like, because it, it comes off really like abrasive and like, this is a really, if this is real, this is a really sensitive situation because that's not, you know what I'm saying, Natalie's vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not... She's not rolled in that lane. Even though they've been technically together, technically for like three years, that's not the way that she's kind of rolled. So it's kind of like to put her on the spot like that. On top of this being recorded, if if, if I was easy, I would have been like all this stuff of like, well, no, I need you to be honest with yourself. I need you to do this. I would have said that off camera. I wouldn't have done Because then that puts added pressure. You got one added pressure of saying, okay, yeah, no, you have, like, homosexual, like, feelings for me. Two, like, no, like, I'm not just your best friend. To the world, everybody knows that you feel this for me. Like, admit it. And then three, just in general, like, those are some real personal things to actually say for everybody to see. Like, why? Like, why? It's kind of like those situations where um, those people that are in relationships, right, and they go through these... Uh, clickbait joints or like they're trying to pursue somebody and then it's like a uh yeah i'm gonna dare you to do this prank or whatever but really they're sitting there risking the whole relationship by doing these stupid stuff and i'm not saying that what what easy's doing but i'm saying this in that same vine is like if this is real i don't i don't know that i would have this recorded like this would be something that you know after everything slides over then we go back and have this conversation or better yet like yo we're not going to have videos for the next three weeks or something like that. If things go a certain kind of way, we will chronicle back and show it. Because now it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe they've already pre-recorded this. If that's the case, then that makes sense. But if it's not pre-recorded and this is kind of like a live situation, I don't know. That's a lot of pressure to put on Natalie. Because again, if I was the guy, right, and I was telling this girl, yo, I, I, I love you with everything that I have, like... I feel like you're not just my best friend, like you're more than that or whatever. And I know you feel the same way. Like I I would technically 
be spoiling my chances with that person. Even if that person liked me or not, that person in their head, they're like, I don't know if I want to cross this friendship border with him, even if I do feel that way. The second part of that is kind of like telling somebody the way that they feel versus actually allowing them to be able to really just adhere to what you're saying and feel convicted by it and then choosing one way or another, that's the best way of being able to do it. Because I feel like all this is kind of like this is added pressure. And I, I don't know if that's going to bode well for a result. Um, and maybe that's a self-defense mechanism. Maybe it's like she honestly does feel that way, but then it's kind of like, I don't know, it's feel like a sabotage kind of situation. That's why I, I legit question whether or not this is actually real. Either way, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I mean, I hope... <laughs> I mean, I hope for the best for them in terms of their career, um, that this doesn't, like, hinder their friendship. It doesn't seem like it would, because, like, now they didn't come off on, like, some anger stuff, but at the same time, every single time that there's been a situation where, you know, Easy's kind of come off, like, really, like, putting Nally on the spot with a situation like this, Nally has always been very hyper, like, I don't know, sensitive, like anger sensitive. And part of that is from a perception standpoint that she doesn't want people to perceive that she is that way. And it's like, honestly, if, if Natalie does accept to go that route, people, people will, you know, readjust that she's bisexual or that she full on just loves women from this point on and it's kind of like that might not be true neither one of those might not be true but it might be that she has like this real legit you know communication and connection with easy i don't really know i don't even know this is real so <laughs> i'm just putting my two cents in this is my reaction um i didn't even react to the full entire thing but uh yeah i don't know if i'm posting this <laughs> if i do post it up know that <laughs> i don't know any of these people I do love their content. I am subscribed to them. I wish them the best. If this ain't real, if this is a skit, this is a very entertaining skit. Very raw emotions. Evie started crying. I was like, dang. This whole, I, I mean, it's gonna, my, my reaction probably is going to sound really obnoxious because in my head I was like, you're going a little too far. You're going the route of like, kind of like telling somebody where they feel versus just letting everything pour out of you or how you feel. But then I even, like I said, when I commented, I was like, maybe that's legit how she actually feels that Natalie feels, you know? And that might not be the case. Either way, as a guy, like I would never put, you know, somebody that I really felt that way on the spot like that in that kind of manner. So it's kind of like, it's, it's a straight up risk, bro. Like from their friendship and everything standpoint. And not just that, like, now they have success, like, where do we go from this point? Either way, if it's not real, then it was very entertaining. If it was real, like, daggone. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you all are entertained by this. Definitely go and check out Easy X Nally. Definitely great content. They both have their respective um, channels directly. I'll put that in the description bar below if I post this up. I don't know if I'm going to post this up. Peace, guys.